Tinkercad by default uses millimeters for its measurement system. However, you can select different units by going down to the edit grid feature. Clicking on that opens up a little box of grid properties. The first uh, drop down is units. You can choose millimeters, you can select inches, or bricks if you're a Lego character. Once you've selected your units, there are a couple of other things you can adjust in the grid properties menu. There's uh, different size print beds. These are all predetermined based on um, some popular 3D printers. You can customize that by hitting the custom button, or you can just type in the length and width you wish your uh, work plane to be. So that's totally up to you. Uh, another feature down here at the bottom is the snap grid feature. Now, if I click on an object and hit the arrow key by default, again, it moves one millimeter per click. But if I want to change that, I can adjust it down here in the snap grid um, selection toolbar. Uh, I can make it go as far as half a centimeter per click, five millimeters, or I can make it an even finer adjustment by going all the way down to one tenth of a millimeter for those very, very, very minuscule movements. Okay, well now you ha know how to really mess things up, uh, so let's go on to the next video.